Hi everyone, I'm Catherine Ross from Break Free with EFT and today I want to talk about self-love. So sometimes saying that you love yourself makes you feel like you're pretty conceited and it's not something that we like to do. It's it's almost taboo, you know, we, we feel that we have to always critique ourselves, that we might not ever be good enough and what we're doing is actually holding us back. Okay, so every time you look in that mirror and you point out every imperfection that you can find, every time you grab your stomach and you think, how fat am I? And thank God that part's not on camera. You are actually telling your subconscious that these things are true, 100% true. Because guess what? Your subconscious does not have a sense of humor. Okay, it does not rationalize things. It doesn't say, haha, you're such a jokester. You're actually okay. It goes, yep, sure, you are fat. You are ugly. You are undeserving. You are unworthy. Everything that you are saying about yourself, it's printing out to be true. Okay, it's creating beliefs, and those beliefs are attracting things into your life to prove those beliefs to be true because we all like to be right, don't we? So if you're actually struggling with your self-image, you're struggling with, you know, your confidence, you're feeling really low about yourself, let's try a little pick-me-up. So I want you to start off on what we call the karate chop point, side of your hand, and just tap along with me repeating what I say. I want you to think about, first of all, how you're actually feeling about yourself, what emotion it brings up when you're looking at yourself, your face, your body in the mirror. Does it make you feel disgusted, ashamed, guilty, repulsed, whatever it is? I want you to get clear on that emotion and how intense it is out of 10. And when you've got it, we're going to start tapping. Even though I'm feeling really disgusted with myself. And I don't like what I see in the mirror. Maybe I'm too fat, too thin, too ugly. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm really struggling to love myself right now. And part of me feels that I could never do that. I choose to be open to the possibility of loving and accepting myself. Even if it's just a little bit. All this negative self-talk. I'm being really hard on myself. There are so many things that I would change about myself and my body. If I only had a magic wand. Sometimes I'm downright mean to me. And part of me is afraid to let that go. Part of me needs this critiquing to keep me on my toes. Because if I start accepting myself, I might become complacent. And I don't want to be conceited. All this negative self-talk. This way I feel about myself. Sometimes I think if I hate myself enough, it'll motivate me to change.
how's that working for me? I wonder if I tried a new approach, what would happen? I wonder what it would feel like to love and accept myself just as I am. For me to facilitate change, I need to accept where I am first. And although that might be difficult, I choose to be open to accepting myself, flaws and all. The reality is, is that I am perfect just as I am. My weight or features are not a true reflection of my soul. So I choose to honour that soul within right now. And be open to embracing whoever that is wholeheartedly. And I choose to be motivated from a place of excitement and love. Rather than desperation and self-hatred. There's no use in hating myself into change. So I choose to be open to a new approach right now. I choose to be open to accepting and loving myself just as I am in this moment. And I'm clearing any blocks that are in my way. Release and let it go. All this negative self-talk. I choose to speak to myself with love and kindness. And I'm forgiving myself right now. And maybe anyone else who's contributed to my body image issues. It's safe for me to love me right now. I am flawsome. Okay, taking a nice deep breath in and out. And just checking in again as to the intensity of that emotion that you were feeling. So think about looking at yourself or go and look at yourself. How are you feeling? How's the intensity of that emotion? And I want you to see if you can get it down to about a three or below. So do this video again if you need to. And if you need any support, please feel free to contact me on my website at www.breakfreewitheft.com. And I'll chat to you soon. In the meantime, as I said at the end, you're absolutely flawsome and that's okay.